Yes, students. Today we are going to start our next topic of panels and meridians. But before discussing about the next topic, first we will recall about the panels and meridians. We have discussed uh, in this starting of the chapter that we all live on the Earth as Earth is the only planet where life exists, and we all uh, know that the shape of the Earth is round. So uh, the Ferdinand Magellan was the first to prove that the Earth. Sailed around the world with his ship, and after three years, he reached the same point from which his ship started traveling. So he proves that Earth is round. As we all know, that Earth is divided into two parts. One is for water, and another one is for land. About 71 percent of Earth's surface is covered with water, and 29 percent of the Earth's surface is covered with land. And uh, land have a Large water bodies are called oceans. So this is the classification of Earth. That Earth's surface has two parts. First one is for land, and other one is for water. So maximum uh, surface is covered with water. That's why our Earth looks blue from the space. And the other name for Earth is called green planet. Yes. Then further, there are five oceans and seven continents. The name of the oceans are Pacific, Arctic, Antarctic. Atlantic and Indian Ocean. Pacific Ocean is one of the largest and deepest ocean. Arctic is the smallest ocean and the second largest ocean is Atlantic. So these are the five oceans. Then comes the continents as there are seven continents in the world. First is Asia, Australia, Africa, Europe, North America, South America, and Antarctica. So it is a quick review about the chapter that we have discussed earlier. After the review, we will start our next topic of this chapter: parallels, or we can call them latitudes. Yes. Now we are going to start our topic: latitudes. The other term which we used for defining latitudes is parallels. So, what are latitudes? Latitudes are the imaginary lines which are drawn horizontally from west to east. As we all know, that the top is for north direction and for the bottom is south direction. Here it is east and this is west. So, latitudes are the imaginary lines which are drawn horizontally from west. So these are the imaginary lines which we call them latitudes. As we can see that these are parallel to each other, that's why the other name which we use for latitude is parallels. So they are parallel to each other, that means that they never cut each other. All are not of same length, for here you can see that the distance here is more, here the distance is um, um, different, here distance is different. So they are not of same length as they are parallel to each other but the length difference between all of them are not same. And there are total 181 latitudes. How? And the ending point of the globe is one is north pole and the second one is south pole. The area from this line which divides the globe into two parts is called equator. So from equator to north pole this area is Northern Hemisphere and from equator to South Pole, this area is called Southern Hemisphere. As equator is 0 degree, North Pole is at 90 degree and South Pole is at 90 degree and equator is one of the longest line of latitude. So we are saying that there are total 181 latitudes. How? From equator to north pole there are 90 latitudes. There are 90 latitudes. Then from equator to south pole there are 90 latitudes. Four. So it is from 90. And this line of equator, this is this line is common in northern hemisphere as well as southern hemisphere. So there are total one let one eighty one latitudes found on the globe. So this is all about this latitudes.
So what are latitudes? Latitudes are the imaginary lines which are drawn from west to east and equator is the largest line of latitude. And other thing, these lines are parallel to each other but the distance between all the latitudes are not same. As they are parallel to each other, they never cut each other because they are parallel and there are total 181 latitudes on the group. Yes, there are some important latitudes. As we all know that earth is divided by the equator in two equal halves. The upper half is for northern hemisphere and the lower half is for southern hemisphere. So, equator is also known as the center line of latitude. So, the important latitudes are in the northern hemisphere, 23 and a half degree north latitude is for Tropic of Cancer. And in case of the southern pole in the southern hemisphere, 23 and a half degree south is called Tropic of Capricorn. Then 66 and a half degree north in northern hemisphere is Arctic Circle. And in the southern hemisphere, 66 and a half in the south is Antarctic Circle. So these are the some important latitudes which are found on the globe. As the dimensions are same, the difference is that they exist in the northern hemisphere and this exists in the southern hemisphere. So these are the important latitudes which are. Yes, students, now our next topic is longitudes. So the other name which we use for longitude is meridians. So what are longitudes? Longitudes are also the imaginary lines. These lines are drawn from north pole to south pole. Which from north to south, the imaginary lines, we can call them vertically lines. So these are the imaginary vertical lines which are drawn from north to south. And these all, uh, you know, meridians are of same length and they all the meridians meet at the poles, one at south pole and one at north pole. So the equator here is 0 degree and the name of the equator is prime meridian. The name of the equator in longitudes is prime meridian. So the other name from prime, other name for prime meridian is Greenwich Meridian. The reason behind this, while locating this meridian, while locating this equator, the equator, this line passes through a place which is in London. The name of this place which is in London is Greenwich. That's why the other name of prime meridian is Greenwich Meridian. Okay. So, the distance of longitudes with equator is the maximum. Here you can see <coughs> the distance between one longitude and equator here is the maximum. After the equator, the distance between the longitudes start decreasing. The distance between the two longitudes start decreasing after equator. So between the equator and longitude, the distance is maximum. There are total 360 meridians. Here you can see the whole portion is of eastern hemisphere and this whole portion is western hemisphere as this equator divides the globe into two equal halves. The first half is for eastern hemisphere and the second half is for western hemisphere. So all these are 180 meridians from equator to eastern hemisphere. And then from equator to western hemisphere they are total 180. So there are 360 meridians which form a complete circle. And the other thing, these latitude, longitudes divide the latitude. As we know that this is the equator. This is the equator of latitude. And what are latitudes? Latitudes are the lines which start from west to east. These are the latitudes, right? So the longitudes cut the latitudes at 90 degrees. The longitudes cut the latitudes at 90 degrees. And what does this is known as? This is known as a grid. What does this known as? This is known as the grid. For which purpose does the grid use? For locating a place on a globe or on a map. A 
rest direction what will happen one day is deducted means 12 hours are deducted so 12 hours are deducted so what will be the time the time when we started the journey was 9 pm in the night and the date was 1 june but at the time when he crossed from east direction to west direction one day or 12 hours is deducted so what will be the time the time will be 9 am in the morning and the date is 1 june so total total here there is a change of 24 hours so this is a international date line international date line is a line which uh, it depicts that when somebody crosses from west to east when somebody crosses from west to east a day is added and the line crossed from east direction to west direction then one day is deducted so the days and dates changed when we cross the international date line and the international date line as we know that these both meridians these both meridians 180 degree east and 180 degree west both lies on the same line both lies on the same line and this line is called international day line so this was all about your chapter of parallel and meridians so we discuss different facts about latitudes we discuss different facts about longitude that latitudes are the imaginary lines which are drawn from west to east and longitudes are the lines which are drawn from north to south there are total 181 latitudes and there are 360 meridians latitudes never cut each other but longitudes meet at one point one is at north pole and other at south pole when latitudes and longitudes cut each other they form a 90 degree angle and this network of latitudes and longitudes are known as grid which help us to locate different places on globe or on a map so this was all about your chapter thank you and have a nice day